Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today, Zola and I are gonna share with you my most recent haul from Rose Girls. This is from the Mario pre-order, which took place, I wanna say, like, maybe the second week of November, somewhere around there. And I just got this, couple, like, a couple days ago, I would say. USPS has been super backed up and I know it's been stressing the heck out of Jenny which is the, the owner of Rose Girls and I just feel so bad she's being bombarded with shipping questions you know everybody's wondering where their orders are and luckily mine got here pretty quick so I was super excited I was not expecting that at all once I saw everybody on the Facebook group like freaking out about the shipping and that you know there's been no movement on their tracking in days I was like you know what, I'll get it when I get it. And then it showed up like two days later and I was shocked. So I am not anywhere near Wisconsin, which is where, you know, Rose Girls is located. So I don't even know how <laughs> mine got here relatively quickly, but it did. So this is a pre-order that I'm super excited for. She always, you know, she offers it every year about the same time. So toward the end of the year, usually it's you know, the first or second week of November, right before Thanksgiving, she'll open up the pre-order and the Mario blends are just amazing. She does customer creations every year as well. So she does a customer creation contest. You can create your own blend and submit it. And then if it's chosen as a winner, your blend gets, you know, is a part of the pre-order list for the Mario pre-order line. And then it could be brought back the next year and so on. So I love that she does that as well, that she involves her customers with that. Um, but yeah, we'll jump right in. Um, I wanted to go crazy, you guys. Last year, I totally went overboard. <laughs> but this year, I really tried to keep it to a minimum. I did the minimum amount to get free shipping, which is, I think, like 11 bags or so. I had like 18 in my cart, and I had to cut it down just because I have a significant amount of Rose Girls, which is why I really haven't been hauling it too much the last half of the year or so just because I have a decent amount but this is a pre-order that I can't pass up so it came beautifully packaged I did go through it already but it came with this beautiful holiday tissue paper on here which I'll definitely save and reuse and then she includes her business card on here it says snap share tag with her different handles and how to reach her so that is what comes on top and then I did get a sample of um, frosted blue sugar birthday cake I've never seen her offer this before and I will say one thing I notice about rose girls is oftentimes when I order I get a, a blend in a sample and I don't really see it offered so in you know you can always request it and it may get poured but you know that's just something I've noticed which it happens she has so many blends but it's just a pattern that I've recognized that I know other people have too so frosted blue sugar birthday cake i really like blue sugar and then i don't think you go wrong mixing with birthday cake and then frosted i'm guessing is just like like a buttercream frosting or something yeah her blue sugar is really nice i've had it on its own before um and i like to melt it on its own or i'll mix it with other things and then here with the bakery you definitely get a sweet kick of the frosting it's almost like a vanilla like a decadent vanilla frosting with the blue sugar and then you do get a cake note but mainly this is blue sugar and like vanilla frosting to me this is good so I would definitely buy that in a mini melter if she offered it also these mini melter cubes this is a good size sample you get four cubes but I don't know if you could tell on camera they're like blue in the center and then on the outside they're green which is really pretty I don't know if that was meant to happen but it almost looks tie-dyed this is really nice but yeah I like this fragrance so we'll start off with one which is I would say it is my favorite blend from the Mario lineup and this is the only one that I got duplicates of and this is Shadow Queen this is so good you guys this is Lord of Misrule Marshmallow Fireside Tobacco and Vanilla Bourbon when I got this I want to say it was two Mario pre-orders ago I was yeah so this is 23 so yeah around December of 21 I was still very new to vendor wax and I placed a small order and I was trying to see what I liked versus what I didn't like and I remember getting this blend and I was like I don't know if I'm gonna like this but you know it sounds interesting so I added it to my cart 
when I got this in that first time I did the Mario pre-order, I was like, this is so good. It's a powerhouse performer. This is like an eight or nine out of 10. It's just beautiful. It's smoky. You definitely get the smoke from the marshmallow fireside. I'm not exactly sure what Lord of Misrule is. I know it's a, a Lush dupe, but I've never had that from Lush. I don't really shop at Lush. Um, but you definitely get like the smokiness from the marshmallow fireside. It's heavy on the tobacco and vanilla bourbon to me. Could be Lord of Misrule, but again, I don't really know what that smells like on its own. You get the smokiness, you get the richness of the tobacco, which her tobacco is super strong and authentic smelling to me. And then you get the kick of the vanilla bourbon, which just gives it a little something extra. Gives it a little bit more of like a darker twist. This, if you like dark, cozy, sexy, sensual scents, this is that in a mini melter. It's just so good. Super strong in the bag. It's just dark, musky, sexy. It's just beautiful. Super strong, unique to anything else that I've had from any other vendor or unique to anything in my collection. So whenever this comes around, the last um, pre-order and this one, I've gotten two bags because I really enjoy it. So that's Shadow Queen. The next one I have here is another repurchase. This is Go Tell It on DK's Mountain. <laughs> <See Zola. laughs> Go Tell It on DK's Mountain. This is Pine Sweater Weather, sweater weather <laughs> and Vanilla Bean Noel. This is beautiful. I am a fan of Sweater Weather and Rose Girls has a very close, if not spot on, to Bath and Body Works' is dupe of Sweater Weather. So you really get that eucalyptus. You get like the crisp, almost mintiness of the fresh air that goes in with sweater weather. And then you get the pine note, which is very distinct in this scent. And then it's blended together with the vanilla bean Noel because sweater weather and pine are such strong oils. You can't even detect vanilla at all. You could just tell that it's there because it's smooth. It's, it is a little bit sharp because sweater weather and pine are both very strong, distinct powerhouse fragrances, but the vanilla bean Noel just kind of blends them together. But to me, this is like 50-50. When you smell it, it's 50-50 of pine and sweater weather. It's really nice. This is another one that's a powerhouse performer. This is like probably a 9 out of 10. Beautiful. I was debating getting two bags of this, but, you know, as I mentioned, I'm trying to keep my orders under control. And honestly, you don't need much of this one to get a decent performance. So this is one that I could even do, you know, I have my Accord and one more warmer in my living room. I could probably put this in like one or two spots of the Accord and it would fill up the whole living room. Like this is super strong, but beautiful. If you like those fresh outdoorsy type blends and you enjoy sweater weather, I would definitely say give this a try. She did have the ready to ship. Today's Friday. So she had the ready to ship with this Wednesday. And I believe this is still available on the site. I shouldn't know because I didn't even buy anything, but I've been lurking on there and it's still available. So if you think you would like this, I would definitely suggest giving this a try. Next up, oh, this is Shadow Queen and this are my favorite from the Mario line. This is Fire Mario. This is Marshmallow Fireside, Donut Holes, and Espresso. This is hands down along with Koopa Claws Needs a Latte. These are my two favorite coffee blends from her. They're just incredible. This is one of my top favorite coffee scents like across the board with any vendor. It's just so good. This is another one I wanted two bags of, but I do have like three quarters of a bag left from last year. I bought like three or four bags last year. Like I totally overloaded to carry me to this year. And then I was like, you know what? This is a blend that she offers, um, you know, like once or twice throughout the year aside from the Mario pre-order. So I figured if I happen to run out, I'll just grab it, you know, sometime next year or... I'll drag this baby out until next year and then next Mara pre-order I'll load up again. But Marshmallow Fireside, Donut Holes, and Espresso Beans. I just love that you get the Marshmallow Fireside. Like to me, that's the star of this blend. You definitely get a strong punch of the espresso, but I love that you could still detect the Marshmallow Fireside on its own. Like Donut Holes, you do get a little bit of like a cinnamon sugar with the Marshmallow Fireside. But you get the smokiness, you get the gooiness of the Marshmallow Fireside and that strong, rich espresso. It's just amazing. 
amazing. If you've had Rose Girls Espresso on its own or in blends, you know that those blends usually perform very well and this is no different. This is like an eight, seven or eight out of 10. It's amazing. It'll go for hours and hours, but typically with my coffee, I'll put them in in the morning, say like seven, eight o'clock. And then by the time like one, two o'clock comes around, I'm ready for something else, but it definitely can go longer than I let it, but it's so good. If you're a fan of coffee blends and you haven't tried Fire Mario, it's amazing. So good. This is a great one to mix as well with other bakery scents. If you have like a cupcake or cakey scent and you want to add bakery and coffee to it, this is just a great one there too. See. next one I have here this is new to me this was I believe this was a customer creation correct me if I'm wrong down below but I know this was a new scent to the lineup so I want to say that this may have been a customer creation this is turtle tracks this is white oak flannel teak wood and charred firewood when I read these note just like this scent note combination I was like this has to be incredible And it is this smells like it would be a body like a men's body care item at Bath and Body Works which kind of threw me for a loop because when I read these scent notes I didn't expect this to come off as like you know like a body care type scent but it does it reminds me of like it's fresh it's outdoorsy but it gives me the same vibe as a men's body care item from Bath and Body Works I think it's because of the flannel and the teak wood to me, those stand out the most in this blend. White oak, I can't necessarily detect, but there is like a smoky sort of outdoorsy back background to this fragrance. The front runners are certainly, like I said, the, the teak wood and the flannel, which understandably so give it like that masculine cologne type vibe to the fragrance. But then you also get a smoky background from the charred firewood. This is beautiful super strong like this is nose clearing strong so this is another one that you would have to warm with caution i'm certainly going to not that i don't love my fragrance is strong i love this fragrance family to begin with but i could definitely see it being way too much if i were to load up all my warmers with this so i have to warm this sparingly but it's absolutely beautiful super happy i tried this one i want to say my sister got this in her order too and she texted me she's like this is so good um, she got her order a few days before me and when I got it I texted her I'm like this is incredible like if I was going back into the RTS to buy some I think this is another one I would pick up along with some more of the others but I need to hold strong you guys it's it's been a struggle but I'm doing it next one here this is another new one this was a customer creation this is Tanuki Mario so this is raindrops herbs freshly brewing thunderstorm Jenny has some of the best aquatic scents that I have tried to date and um, they're always very decent performers. I just love her rain oil. She has great like outdoorsy aquatic type oils. So when I read that both raindrops and freshly brewing thunderstorm were in here, I was like, this has got to be so good. Yes, but this is heavier than I expected on the green note. So I'm assuming that's coming from the, the herb note, whatever that means. It's almost giving me like a fresh cut grass and then the freshly brewing thunderstorm. So I don't know if that's like dirt and fresh cut grass. I definitely get a fresh cut grass element in here without a doubt. And then you also get like an additional outdoors. You know, it's coming off as like, um, it's coming off as dirt. But then I also remember she had... She had this blend like last year or so it was like hunter crawler or something and it was like concrete with rain and dirt i'm getting that vibe in this too i don't think it's not the same blend but i'm definitely getting the same essence of that blend with like the dirt the grass and it's almost like you get a little bit of like a steel or concrete with the herbs and the raindrops so if you're somebody that, that likes those um like outdoorsy atmospheric rain scents. This is giving me the same vibe as Hunter Crawler and also um, if you're familiar with Petrichor from Teddy Bees, this is giving me that same vibe, that rich dirt with the rain, grass. Yeah, this is really good. This is gonna be beautiful on a day that like, I'm deep cleaning the house, I'm mopping the floors, I'm vacuuming and you know, I'm doing laundry, all that sort of stuff. 
this is going to be a great scent to just kind of clear the air and just give that how the house that fresh clean crisp vibe beautiful i also would enjoy melting this on a day that it's not nice out as well all right let's see here got a couple more to go through here the next one is another this one's a repurchase for me this is level up this is blackberry coastal kale satsuma and raindrops so i'm pretty sure this is her speechless blend with blackberry added to it her speechless blend is so good again i am someone that does like those fresh clean type scents and then she just does those blends so well in my opinion um when i'm looking for those blends from a vendor like fresh clean aquatic rose girls is the one i want to buy from um, and then you add that blackberry to this and it just gives it like a beautiful fruity kick without it being too much i'm not a fruity melter i don't really enjoy scents that are just fruit on its own so when i am in the mood for something fruity i have to gravitate towards something that is fruity fresh excuse me or fruity mixed with bakery somewhere along those lines and this is perfect for that you really get the juicy blackberry it does lean a little bit floral but not to the point where you can detect like an actual flower in there it's just not like a juicy authentic blackberry say like sassy girl aroma has or teddy bees has hers does definitely have more of like a fresh vibe to it it does give me sort of a little bit of a floral kick but in this blend it goes so well with the coastal kale and the juicy satsuma and the aquatic rain this is just so relaxing to me like if i'm stressed out and i want to melt something that will relax me but i'm not really in the mood for something eucalyptus i'm not in the mood for something lavender this is just a beautiful relaxing de-stressing scent this one's super strong as well her satsuma and coastal kale are already powerhouses and then you add the strength with the blackberry and the aquatic rain. It's just so good. So that is level up. Next is one that I know is loved by so many, including myself. And this is Christmas Eve in Cookie Land. So this is eggnog, royal sugar cookie, monster cookie, marshmallow smoothie, and donut holes. So the eggnog, and then you're adding the Cookie Land blend, you guys. When I, I've had Cookie Land on its own before, and in the mini melter bag, I wasn't impressed with it. But when you warm it up, you get the sugar cookie, you get the marshmallows, you get the donuts. Like, you get everything comes alive in Cookie Land when you warm it up. On cold in the bag, it's very, like, bland and, like, you would think it's a typical cookie fragrance. Wait till you warm that baby up. It's magical. And then you add the creamy eggnog to it. So good so so good her eggnog is so creamy but it also has like a little bit of spice kick to it so you really get the eggnog first and foremost you do get royal sugar cookie and i get marshmallow smoothie like you do get a vanilla gooey creaminess to this along with the eggnog it's just gorgeous when you warm this sucker up it is decently strong this is a medium performer but it is so delicious and gooey and decadent bakery that if it were a strong powerhouse i think it may be too much for me but the strength of this and the combination of these notes and when they warm up it's just gorgeous delicious delicious holiday bakery this is one that i had like i had two bags of this in my cart too and i had to cut it down so i'm gonna savor this baby it is amazing all right this is the last blend that i have that is a repurchase for me and this is super sweet mario this is another one that i love to grab whenever it's offered whether it's throughout the year or whenever the mario pre-order comes around so this is pink sugar royal sugar cookie marshmallow smoothie and cotton candy frosting this is beautiful i like her bakery blends don't get me wrong her bakery blends are gorgeous but i do love the combination of cotton candy frosting and pink sugar it kind of just takes a generic type of bakery scent and just makes it girly and fun and sweet definitely get a combination of cotton candy frosting and pink sugar the most and then you do get that gooey sugar cookie marshmallow smoothie you can't pinpoint in this blend like you can in christmas eve in cookie land you can't really get the marshmallow here. You mainly get the pink sugar and cotton candy and then the background of the sugar cookie. 
this is beautiful if you like bakery but you don't want to add another item to your stash that is kind of just a basic sugar cookie blend definitely try something with pink sugar or cotton candy this is sweet without being too cloyingly sweet it's just it's like flirty fun like bakery it's just good it's a good one to have around all right and these last two are new to me the first one here is cheap cheap sleep and this is french lavender linen and woolen blanket so this is a blend that has been on my radar for the past several Mario pre-orders. And for some reason, it's just one that I always end up taking off of my list. <laughs> and then when I see it on the list the next year, I'm like, okay, this I'm going to try it this time. And then it got cut off my list last year. And this year, I'm like, you know what? Like, I am limiting my blends. So instead of getting duplicates of some of these, I'm finally going to try this one. Because these are notes that I enjoy. I really like lavender. I like laundry. And I like her woolen blanket oil. So I'm like, I need to just buy this and stop chopping it from my list. So this is good. I'm happy I picked it up. I will say I like her sweet lavender more than I do her French lavender linen. To me, this is a very, very herbal lavender. Like it's almost like you could smell the stem and the plant part of the lavender mixed with like a warm, cozy laundry type fragrance, which is the woolen blanket. So this is good. I will melt it. I will enjoy it. I just honestly wish that it was her sweet lavender with the woolen blanket. I think it would tone it down from coming off as too too herbal. I like all lavenders, don't get me wrong, but it also depends what they're mixed with. Like in this blend, I think I would enjoy it much more if it were a sweet lavender as compared to like an herbal lavender. But yeah, it's still good. I'm still going to melt it. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to certainly enjoy it. It's good. It's just I wish it was the other lavender, that's all. But it's super strong in the bag. I think this will be a beautiful performer. Anybody who loves lavender, definitely give this a try. I think you would enjoy it. So I'm looking forward to melting that one. Who knows? I may even like that French lavender um, linen even more when it warms up than it does. Than I, I may like it even more when it's warmed up than I do just smelling it out of the bag. Maybe it won't be as herbal once it is warmed up. And the last one, this is my favorite new to me blend that I've tried, which <laughs> I only have a couple new to me blends here, but this is my favorite one out of the couple. And I had to, this is a blend that I was fighting myself to not go back into the pre-order and buy multiple bags of. It's just amazing. This is Lake Kingdom. This is another one like Cheap Cheap Sleep that I've had on my list for the past pre-order or two. And every time it's one that gets chopped. So I the first ones that I put in my cart this pre-order were the Cheap Cheap Sleep in Lake Kingdom. And I was like, I'm finally trying them. And I'm so happy I did. I wish I tried it sooner. So this is Salty Sea Air, Blackberry, Peppermint, and Rain. As I mentioned with the Tanuki Mario, I just really like, oh, her rain oil is so good. So good. You really get the peppermint and the rain in this. Those are the stars of this blend. It's just beautiful. I don't think I've had a blend that's peppermint and rain together, but it's fresh, it's crisp, it's aquatic, it's relaxing. This is like the epitome of de-stressing. This is beautiful. Yeah, front runners here are definitely the rain and the peppermint. I was a little weary of the combination of blackberry and peppermint, but this just keeps it from being too much with the peppermint you definitely get a little sweetness in the background which is the blackberry but if i didn't have blackberry on the scent label itself i wouldn't even say that blackberry was in here i would just wonder what element is adding that little bit of sweetness but yeah it's rain and peppermint first and foremost you definitely get a whiff of the salty sea air but the blackberry is definitely way in the back of this like i said if it wasn't listed i wouldn't even be able to notice that it's in here but now that I see it listed and I smell like the scent, you could tell it's there, but just the ever, ever slow, slight pinch. Like, don't let this scare you. If you're looking to try this blend and you love fresh, crisp, queen, clean, peppermint, aquatic, don't let the blackberries scare you off. I think this is beautifully done. This is absolutely gorgeous. Super strong. This is going to be a powerhouse. I would say it's going to be the same strength as Level Up. 
but yeah honestly if i had to pick between level up and late kingdom because they're both kind of in that fresh clean type of vibe they're different though because level up is much more fruity and then late kingdom is fresh crisp clean peppermint with rain i honestly think i prefer late kingdom but that's probably because i'm not somebody who typically gravitates towards fruity fragrances so as much as i enjoy level up i would definitely pick late kingdom over it so if you have the same preferences as me and you're kind of torn between the two or you want to try one new and you haven't had either one and you can only get one i would say go with late kingdom but i'm so happy i finally tried this you guys this is beautiful absolutely beautiful my favorite repurchase again is shadow queen and then my favorite new to me one is the late kingdom don't get me wrong they are all fantastic i think this the mario pre-order list in general every year is just incredible and then the new blends that get added it's just so much fun it's being a 90s kid and growing up in the 90s like mario was a huge part of my growing up in my childhood my brothers and my sister and i and my dad um we would all play nintendo 64 or gamecube and we would always play mario kart or the different mario games that came out super mario all of that so this pre-order alone is just <laughs> i am so excited for it just from the nostalgia purpose behind it but then like the whole theme of it and then just the blends that are in it are amazing so this is a pre-order that i cannot pass up every year just because the blends in the collection is just so much fun and the blends are amazing so that is it you guys thank you so much for watching zola and i thank you for hanging out with us for a bit and if you're new here thank you so much for taking the time to hang out i would love if you decide to subscribe and stick around we'll chat in the comments i'm sure but anyway i hope you all are doing well staying safe and taking care and we will chat soon bye